Well, hello there, teachers. Today I am going to walk you through a tutorial of my student of the month. So I do have this available on Google Slides as well as TPT, but um, I'm just going to give you a little tutorial and walkthrough of how I use it with my group of learners. So, uh, of course, we have student of the month, the title. Um, what I do is once I choose that learner, I will place a photo of that particular learner in the frame and then type their name at the bottom. This is just a stock image uh, because I did not want to show the real learner's face that I have chosen. And this is just a made up name. Okay, just for liability and protection. So you will have two slides. You have a slide of student of the month and then you'll have a slide for um, the student to fill out on their own and bring back and share back. So the first slide I did not mention was for the teacher and the whole group. The second is what you'll assign to the student of the month student or learner. And then they will go and fill out the slide and then bring it back to share and you can have a discussion, you can make a extended activity out of it. It's up to you. So let's go ahead and begin. You choose your student of the month. It's very simple. And then what you'll do is you will drag three qualities that you felt that that student of the month carried. During, during that duration of time that you were teaching. Okay, so say, oh, Christian, you were very respectful and then you tell why. And Christian was very responsible class because, and then you explain why. And last, Christian was an awesome hard worker and let me tell you why. Then after you go through all that discussion and celebration, then you can go ahead here click on the purple arrow and watch the celebrate video on go noodle which is a lot of fun okay and then you guys can sing and dance together the second slide is what you will assign to the student of the month after you have this whole group um, this whole group chat about student of the month and what the learner will do is they will tell you three qualities um, about themselves so at the bottom it gives them directions drag and drop three boxes to the stars i like to what do you like to do you like to play video games you like to play with your sister your brother you like to play with your parents i like to dance and sing to my favorite songs on alexa <laughs> and i like to laugh a lot i love jokes and i love to just laugh at good comedy movies so not only will they pick the qualities or pick things that they like to do, they will explain to you what they like to do as well. And again, on their own, they can go ahead and listen to the celebrate video or song. And it's very quite easy, but it's a nice activity. And it does, it is a way to spotlight a learner and bring engagement to your class, your online class or group of learners for them to, to have something to look up to because they will have this day where you spotlight them usually on a Friday for myself on our fun Friday and most of the kids want to be spotlighted or want to be called out in a positive manner so they do tend to work a little bit differently online and once you present something like this or your virtual treasure box or the spinner I use a spinner I'll have another video on that and how that works but the spinner um, where they get to spin and see the spinner go around. Once you start presenting little um, rewards and incentives, then they tend to work even harder and become more engaged even with online learning. So I hope this small tutorial or walkthrough or example of how I use Student of the Month was helpful for you and I hope that you enjoy it download it and share it with your learners as well please remember to subscribe and like to our channel and please remember we don't not we do not have the notification bell any longer the new youtube rule with children channels so you will have to on your own remember to come back in and share with others to come check out the new tutorials or lessons that we have for adults or kids goodbye